Yeah, don't say what about me for this one. Tell us one thing you've learnt from the teammate sitting next to you. So I assume that, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that is definitely yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> Mate, can I get out, please? <laughs> oh, no, you're not asking that. Go on. Tell us about where you were born and raised. I was born and raised in Romsey. Adelaide. <laughs> uh, Melbourne, Victoria, so just local boy from around here. Uh, I was born in um, Derby in Western Australia. Uh, I was born in Port Lincoln. Uh, I was born and raised in Darwin, Northern Territory. Do you know where that is? I do know yeah. that. At the top of Australia. Tell us about your culture and how it's shaped you. Everything we do, uh, whether it's footy or away from the field, is always about your family first and then you second. So um, that is something that's been instilled into all of us. Um, you know, it's the longest, it's the oldest uh, culture in the world. So um, I don't think that's changing anytime soon. And, I'm glad I'm a part of it. Yeah, my culture being a Noongar man from South West of Western Australia um, had um, a pretty big impact on me and my life and my family and growing up in a big community um, shaped who I am, values, um, and it's continued to shape um, my family now in, in Melbourne. And yeah, like I said before, I'm pretty proud to have you know some, in, some Indigenous blood in me. Um, weekly I like to wear some uh, wrist tape, some just with the Indigenous colours around my wrist to um, show how proud I am. What is your favourite thing about Sir Doug Nichols round? Playing in Alice Springs, I think the energy that the oval there, um, the, the atmosphere of the fans, um, you're playing on a, almost like it feels like a local oval. Yeah. Um, seeing all the, the people that come out to watch, they only get to see one game a year. Yeah. The joy that we can bring to them. Usually something special happens from Eddie Betts, from Carlton. Yeah, yeah usually kicking, kicking a special goal from the boundary. My favourite thing about the round would be seeing all the Guernseys. Um, and the, the pride from the, the community. Back when I was probably you know, seven, seven years old, that was probably my first time I ever went to the footy. Um, and the only time I would ever go to the footy each year from then was just to the Essendon versus Richmond game. Um, the dream time with the G, that was pretty um, special for me. Probably all the questions and stuff that come about all, the, all my teammates during that week or the, those couple of weeks about wanting to know more about where you're from and why certain cultures do certain things. And yeah, I think it's just, the education piece around it as I've gotten older has probably been my favourite part about it. Seeing how proud it makes all my Indigenous teammates, you can see um, you know, when, when we play in this round how proud they are to represent their culture and, and that just makes me happy.